My name is Nikita. Uh, I'll be interviewing today. Yeah, we have a SQL mock interview and SQL round. So I prepared for you two tasks for today. Uh, feel free to ask any questions uh, during the process. Here, the first task, uh, there are just two tables. Uh, let's imagine mm -hmm. that we are working at a, a SaaS company. The first is just users table uh, with information about users. And the second table is a subscription table, information about mm -hmm. subscription. Task is to calculate uh, top three users for 2023 by the total subscription revenue. For each uh, signup source, we have different signup sources like referral, organic search, ad campaign, and so on. The additional note is that if multiple users have the same total revenue, uh, please rank them by their sign up date. So the earliest they start, they should be higher. Sign up date uh, is the date uh, when the users start uh, subscription. Am I right? Actually, it's it's when they. Uh, I would say it's better to use like a start date, as mm -hmm. when they started subscriptions. Sign up date. Let's imagine that, be, like uh, they they were interested in our service, so they just left their uh, I would say contacts or details. Uh, mm -hmm. But actually, like in most cases, you see that it's the same date as the start date, so it means that they paid for the for the subscription at the same day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the revenue calculation, it's better to use like a start date. Okay, great. I suppose that uh, for find out the sign up source. Uh, in the subscriptions table, you need to join two table, two tables. Uh, just want to write the code. Um, select. Just accept. Uh, one question, um, do we need to find um, top three users in 2023 and um, how it uh, will be um, connected to the end date? So start date should be in 2023 and the end date? You need to calculate uh, revenue only for, uh, I would say, 2023 if they started uh, earlier we just calculate uh, just for 2023 mm -hmm. and uh, yeah for the end date uh, we just need to include oh so include... We, we we need to find uh the uh the, the quantity of months in each period yes yes correct i understand now okay Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just need to conclude. Mm -hmm. Find the difference between
Do you have any questions? No, I just need to find out how to calculate the difference between two date in month and uh, this month should be only in 2023. I just need to understand how to do it. Okay. Just like write. First, first I would like to write. We can use just one sink. We can use um, Greatest. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and so we need to have months. So by like that, uh, we could find the months uh, of subscriptions mm -hmm. in uh, 2023. And then we can uh, multiple this. Um, yeah, OK, yeah, just a couple of questions. Could you explain me for me all these least and greatest functions, how they're working? This function uh, find uh, out the the least value between uh, two values that we uh, define and the greatest finds the max value. Now, if uh, yeah, for some of the like customers we have uh, a null and date. We need to, we need to, if, if it will be now, um, We can have now as end date. Okay. Uh, so we can use Colesk, for example, and fill it with, I don't know, uh, like some really big value. In this case, we will, if there is no end date, we will find the max date of 2023 year. Uh, okay, and then we yeah, can... Okay. Uh, why you chose like to pick uh, the December 32nd? Is it uh, it's... possible? Uh, yes, in some databases we can give it, I suppose. Okay. It's just a really big value, so why not? Uh, yeah. And then uh, we can, I suppose that we can do it in this. Uh, just, just like that. And multiple is uh, to monthly fee. And it will be revenue. Okay, so it will be revenue. And then we uh, should rank uh, users by the Monthly fee. Mm -hmm. And what should we do uh, if, uh, if two, for example, two users uh, will have the same revenue? How we should pick? Uh, yeah, 
if uh, multiple users have the same total revenue, rank them by their sign up date. Mm. Yes, yeah, so oh, they have okay. sign up dates. So if mm -hmm. uh, uh, if some user started earlier, we should put him like higher than another user. I see. Do we need to uh, hire uh, the earliest sign up date? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm, I suppose it's all. Oh, what is it? So you completed the code? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was just putting space. Uh, okay, on I, I just to, like to. to I, I suppose it. it's all. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't see the final from. Ah, it just. Yeah, maybe why why is this the space? I, I have the form. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I see. Yeah, could you just once again go through your code and explain uh, your solution? Um, yes, in first uh, CTE, uh, we calculate the revenue uh, for each user uh, from the sub subscriptions table and we do it by uh defines uh the, the mm -hmm. subscriptions month in 2023 uh i use least and greatest uh these uh, operations can help us to find uh the least uh date between uh two dates uh it will be end date uh, and 2020, the last date of 2023, the greatest date between start date and uh, the first date of 2023, and uh, then um, I find the month of these dates and uh, find 
uh, and multiple uh, it to monthly fee, uh, and it will be our revenue uh, for whole year uh, of the subscription of the user. And then I use the window function row number to uh, identify the to sort to order the rows by the revenue partition by sign up source and then i just filter the rows with the rare rare close and find the final yeah it looks good i have one question about uh, the first uh, cte so let's mm -hmm. imagine that uh, um, our user started in 2022 and this user uh, hasn't uh, cancelled his subscriptions yet so in end date we have now in start date we have some date in 2022 could you please calculate uh, the number of months uh, based on your uh, formula what will be in the column uh, ju just for months uh, could you calculate the number uh, okay, he doesn't end the subscription. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he started in 2022 and he's still our, uh, our customer, yeah, our user, and he continues to pay for this amount. So the list date uh, will be the last date of 2023. It will be the end date. and. Uh, the months will be 12 and the months from the uh, greatest will be one. So ah, we will have the 11 months. So you're, you're right. So we should uh, plus one to this formula. It. In this, in the, yeah, in this case, it's, it will be more correct. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Uh... I have a question. Yeah. If it's possible, or yeah. in the end. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. So... You, you like we almost ended the first time, so we can ask about. Uh, Sounds good. Yeah. Again, there are no details about the service, but I imagine people can subscribe. Sorry, I can hear you? Is it my problem? Yeah, I hear no, no, no. clearly. Okay, just I was wondering, can the users, because I didn't understand the purpose of the subscription table, and then I understood that because several users can belong, one user can belong to different subscription, and I thought in which case it could be, and I was thinking that they can subscribe and start an end date can be several times during the year. So they can subscribe in January and in March, and then they can again subscribe in July and end in December. So I thought in this case, we could group by the user additionally, just if they subscribe several times in a year, if it makes sense. Then we could get their real, because they can, uh, in this subscription table, I imagine several users, one user can have several records in the same year. But that's my just observation. For example, if we go to Netflix. It's a, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, yeah, it's so, a, yeah I agree. So for now, yeah, we had like an assumption, I would say, or that uh, let's imagine that there is only one subscription. Yeah, but if there are like several. Yeah, we yeah, can we choose. Do? I suppose that we can Yeah, use, could you uh, adjust your query? Yeah, if you imagine that there are several subscriptions for the same user. Yeah, we can just use user ID. Um, and this is, yeah, this is its all. Yeah, overall, and, I like how you no, use no, the no, least no. and the greatest. Um, I think that's a good idea. Um, Try like this. I suppose it's, it will work. I, I think yeah, we will just add group by use some 
for the revenue. Yeah, it's, it's a good point. Okay, let's go to the second task. We have two tables, customers and transactions, and you need to calculate monthly retention rate for each plan type. We have basic and premium plan types in 2023. Yeah, we have a definition of retention rate here as a percentage of customers who are active in the previous months and are still active in the current months. Yeah, so let's imagine mm -hmm. we had like 100 uh, customers like last month and now uh, just 80 of them are active. So there are 80% retention rate. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and the customer is active if uh, this customer made at least one transaction this month. We can use this. Yeah, okay. Could you clarify a little bit what you did in this uh, first CTE? I calculate the months of the each transaction's date for customer, and uh, I join transaction and customer customers' tables at the plan type uh, for each user, for each customer. So what we see, we will see in this final table after all this. Yeah, we will have the custom ID, plan type, and uh, transaction month, uh, and then we should, uh, when we define the transaction month, uh, use maybe some flag, for example, if the user uh, was active in previous months, and then uh, mm -hmm. we should 
filter this uh, this users. So, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Like just one uh, one additional question about the first CTE. Yeah. What what if customer had several transactions in one month? What we will see? We will see uh, the the several rows. It and it will okay. be. Uh, the duplicated row so we can use distinct yeah. yeah okay good mm -hmm. yeah you're right In this city, uh, I calculate the uh, lock transa transactions for each user by plan type. And if the difference between uh, transaction month and lag transaction month equal to one, so uh, we flagged this role as one. It means that uh, it is an active user. And if no, reflect uh, this uh, user as just zero because he wasn't active. And then uh, we can calculate the retention rate. For each plan type, we should calculate the retention month for each month. Yes. Mm, yeah. So we have 2023, the full year, and we have 12 months, and we need to calculate uh, for each month the uh, retention rate. Yes. So let's imagine uh, at this point so that we don't need to calculate for January. Yeah. 
but that, okay, that's so used for in this a lot case, of I will, I will use just it like that. So In this CTE, we calculate the uh, number of active customers in this month, in a transaction month, and calculate for, uh, the active customers in previous months. And now we can calculate the retention per each month, per each plan.
Do we need to calculate retention like this or uh, just divide uh, active customers to pre-active customers? Yeah, we just need to divide. Oh, okay. I suppose it's solved. Could you go one more time through all of your code? Yeah, the whole query and just mm -hmm. explain one more time. Yeah, of course. In the first query, uh, we define the months of each transaction and uh, for each customer and each plan. Uh, the plan we can add from the table customers. Uh, we join two tables and uh, by that we add the column plan, plan type. And we also filtered uh, by the transaction date. Uh, it should be in 2023 year. So it uh, should be between the first day of the year and the last day of the year. Then I calculate the previous months uh, by using Leg, uh, lock function, it's a window function. Um, I uh, use uh, partitioning by customer ID and plan type and order by transaction month. Uh, and by that, I calculate the previous active months uh, if it exists. And then uh, I calculate for, I, I count for each plan type uh, for each transaction month, uh, the quantity of customers uh, that is active in this month and uh, that was active in previous months. Uh, and I defined it by uh, calculate the difference between uh, this transaction month and pref transaction month. And if it's uh, equal to one, so uh, it means that uh, the customer uh, was active in previous months and uh, yeah, I count the numbers of these uh, customers too. Uh, and in the end, I just calculate the retention rate. So that's all. Let's check one example. So for, for yeah, instance, okay. we, have, we have a customer that uh, uh, had the transactions in February, but had no transaction in next month, yeah, mm -hmm. in uh, March. So mm -hmm. what we'll get, could you just go through your code and just explain what we will get for this? So of course, like we know that if he doesn't have a, a transaction, it should be like zero, but let's uh, check it through your code. Mm -hmm. Okay. For, for March, uh, he will have no transaction and it means that we will have no, no role. And From the first table, we will get uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. customer ID, plan type and months will be February. Yeah. So Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. customer ID, his plan, I don't know, like doesn't matter. And like February, that just one row. In the second, yeah, previous activity we have customer ID, plan type, transaction months like February. And for lag function, what we will get for mm -hmm. lag function? We will have null. Null, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and what we will get in next? Uh, CT. Uh -huh, yeah, I see. So customer mm -hmm. ID will have one and for previous active customer will have uh, transaction months uh, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, like mm, 
like now yes yeah, so the equation is now We, sh we can add uh, the check that the uh, previous active months is not null. Is not null. And okay. I suppose that it will work uh, works uh, because right now we can check that pre uh, that previously active months is not now. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. But okay, uh, it, it checks. But if, if it's now, what uh, value you will have in this uh, field? It will be zero. Um, yeah, and in the last uh, CC, ah. you divide by zero. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're right. Uh, so I can also add the check that if the previous active active customers the quantity of customers uh, is now but we calculate uh, the quantity of these customers and the quantity uh, if we have the months uh, and plan type uh, if uh, in in which there will no transactions at all. So yeah, it it can be such a case, but I don't think that it's really possible. But we can yeah, yeah. check it also. We, we can we can add the check for previous active customer, of course. And um okay we can add case when is now okay zero. No zero. Then we uh, divide uh, active customers by preactive customers, uh, and in else we can just define this retention as null, I suppose, as, as, as zero. Yeah, yeah, I just uh, wanted to discuss this side case. Yeah, it maybe uh, won't be the case, but yeah, it would be. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah, it will be, but it's just not so popular. Yeah, so I, 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 uh, I think that's all. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. I can provide you some feedback. I think uh, uh, you were great Yeah, for, for the SQL, you know, all, all the functions so that i needed like you know cte's window functions uh and even like list and uh, greatest that i never used actually so uh, i'm really confident in your uh, sql knowledge mm, there are some things you can improve like there, there were some like minor things but i don't think mm -hmm. they're just super important uh, and first you just uh, forgot to add like, this one yeah, yeah. and some like this it's more like a side cases so i don't think this is won't influence your result but uh, i would suggest you to maybe uh, speak a little bit more and express your thoughts so uh -huh. uh, it will help me as an interviewer to see how you're thinking so for me it's also important not to see like your your code which is yeah, the main thing but also it will be like really helpful for me to make a decision if you explain no. you can even read out loud uh, the task first um, and then maybe you can ask some questions about what if this what if that uh, yeah. how, I, how i should think about it 
And then just, okay, so I will start. So, so if I need to, to find the retention, first I do find the customers, active customers based on transaction. Then I will find the previous month by using window function. And then I will just calculate. It's just uh, for, for me, it will be just really cool to see like you are right. Please express your thoughts. It will help uh, you all the interviewers just to see how, how you're thinking, which is also important for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for your feedback. I really appreciate that. Yeah, well, what and, do you think uh, about your, uh, your knowledge and uh, your... Uh, to be honest, uh, these two tasks uh, were a little bit tough. Yeah, uh, so yeah. this is the focus. So for me, yeah, just uh, in most cases, you won't get these hard tasks, but we are yeah, like, yeah. practicing. Mm -hmm. And if you are just can solve these tasks, you will be able to, to, to like to solve any other task. In most of uh, my interviews, uh, the tasks were much more easier and uh, it wasn't really easy to recall the least and uh, greatest operation. Uh, I suppose that it's an approach that you just need to remember once and then uh, you will, uh, in the same task, you can uh, recall and use it. I used it once, if I don't know about this. Uh, these functions, I suppose it will be really tough for me to to do this task. For well, this task, you can actually do it also with a case statement as you started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but just you need to think more about the logic. But it's also possible with case. And in some yeah. uh, in some cases, in some interviews they allow you to use Google if there are some just tough tasks mm -hmm. and if some not usual functions. So sometimes they, they can say that, yeah, you can use Google just to Google for the specific function. So it's also sometimes mm -hmm. it's okay. I suppose that my problem is to, to describe what uh, I'm doing. And uh, sometimes it's really tough to do it in a foreign language because uh, you need to think about the task and you also need to think about the words in foreign language and yeah. Sometimes I just forget the simplest world. Yeah, I agree with you, but it's just a matter of practice. So more interviews, interviews you have, the, the more confident you will be. This thank you, Victoria. Was really... it, was, it was great. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much too. Yeah, thank you all. Have a good day. Bye.